Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we are in Austin, Texas at the Enhanced Recovery After Cardiac Surgery Society meeting. I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Dan Engelman, who is the president of ERAS Cardiac. Dr. Engelman, great to see you again. That's nice to see you. Yeah, and I guess the patients who are watching this are wondering, what is the ERAS Cardiac meeting? Well, we've invited the best and brightest minds from around the world to join us together for this retreat to share practical protocols, guidelines, and tips to have patients heal rapidly and completely following cardiac surgery. ERAS, or Enhanced Recovery After Surgery, really focuses on motivation. And that motivation begins even before surgery. We want patients to feel that they're just not a passenger on this journey, but they're actually a driver. And so that begins before the operation even starts. So we want patients in the best possible condition and shape that they can be in. So that might mean exercise beforehand, better nutrition beforehand. That also includes stopping smoking and alcohol for a period of time. And all of this is designed so that the patient's recovery can be better. Within enhanced recovery after surgery protocol, minimization is critical. And there are four things that we tell patients to ask their teams to minimize. And those are opioids, post-operative nausea vomiting, kidney injury, and blood transfusions. The experts have gathered here today to inspire one another to really approach enhanced recovery after surgery um, in a multidisciplinary team approach. We have to always remember though to keep the patient in the center. So our team will consist of of course your surgeon, anesthesiologist, you might have a nurse practitioner, bedside nurses, pharmacy, nutrition, physical therapy, we have a whole huge team of people to make it happen and to make it work so that patient outcomes are improved. Thinking about how mobilization is a key element for the ERAS pathway, think about movement to heal. You need to move to heal. That's a big portion of your recovery process. We need to be able to provide the appropriate support and education for patients before the operation, before they have their incision, support teams to get people up and moving after their operation as soon as possible, and prepare for healthy living upon discharge. Patients are tethered, generally speaking, after cardiac surgery to a lot of tubes and drains. ERAS kind of turns that on its head. The idea is that we are liberating you from organ support, that's mechanical ventilation, some of the other alternatives that are really kind of supporting the organs, and then very specifically avoiding foreign objects, tubes, drains, lines, and getting them out of the patient as early as possible and maximizing your freedom. So Dr. Engelman, we have learned a lot here at the ERAS Cardiac Meeting. I've got to ask you an important question for the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, patients all over the world. What is your advice for them specific to ERAS? That's a great question, Adam. I think if I was a patient, I might want to ask my physician, my surgeon, are they following the most up-to-date advanced recommendations from ERAS, which would include such things as getting them mobilized and out of bed quickly, reducing the amount of opioids they're taking after surgery, and getting them home as quick as possible. Well, Dr. Engelman, on behalf of all of the patients in our community, thanks so much to you and your entire team and the attendees at the ERAS Cardiac Meeting. Thank you. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.